Listen, man, call me Shadow the Hedgehog the way she licks my balls. That didn't make sense. I'm really sorry. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today, and only today, we are here to talk about Sonic Prime. We got our second official teaser of the show, and we're going to sit here, analyze the trailer, talk about some stuff, some interesting tidbits and things we can find and all that. So, guys, let's not even dick around anymore. Okay, let's, let's really just get in there, bro. All right, first of all, happy uh, 10 days to Sonic Frontiers. We're right there. We're almost at the finish line so congrats to us and here's what we're gonna do here all right we're gonna go ahead with this trailer uh and i'm going to have to pause it a bunch all right because this is a netflix trailer and i don't want them to flag the video so there will be a lot of pauses uh throughout this so we're gonna go ahead and do that really quickly so first of all right we see our boy sonic you know dashing around looks awesome love that and then we get our first look at the tornado first of all can we talk about how adorable knuckles looks just holding on to it like that like he could just be gliding um but he's shown there there's like I, I don't this cannon it looks a little stupid i'm not gonna lie to you like i'd rather it doesn't have the cannon but it's fine also you guys can see right back there uh rouge the bat flying around chilling doing her own thing you know as as rouge the bat does you know as rouge the bat does so going through here again green hill Again, obviously, but it's pretty clear that Green Hill's just their fucking, their life, you know, and their lifeblood. Uh, I do like this, like, hill they've got going on here, you know, this, like, big mountain. I do like the sunset they've got going on. Uh, and here's the crystal. Now, this crystal, you know, obviously what our boy Eggman looking for over here. So, that thing is called the Paradox Prism. So, I mean, that's kind of a big deal because that's, like, another sort of stone-like entity in a Sonic thing, right? We have, like, the Soul Emeralds. We have the Chaos Emeralds. We have the Phantom Ruby. Uh, and now we have what's called the Prism. Uh, so, yeah, Paradox Prism. Now, there's our boy, Sonic. Look at Don. He said himself. And there... Let's talk about this guys, bro. Let's talk about this now. Can I hold up? No, no, no. I don't want to search. I want to search here. Let's let's talk about this, right? If we go back right here, we have our first look at the full gang. I'm gonna move this a little bit just so you can see. Yeah, so we got Knuckles, Rouge, Sonic, Tails, and Amy. This is awesome right because first of all now we have two girls on the squad like in the main team which is really cool to see we also have amy in the forefront which she hasn't been really in a while technically she has i mean technically she's like a big part of forces like she's a military leader or some shit um if you read idw2 for a while and obviously you know rouge generally a cool character but i don't know feeling it's different having them there versus having them in the main squad like they used to be you know like they were in the sonic adventure days or heroes days you know so having Having this be really cool, we're seeing her. Also, Rouge working with them is very interesting. I wonder if it has anything to do with, uh, with obviously, um, Shadow. Because we don't, we have not seen Shadow in this teaser, but we saw him in the last one. But again, gang looking good. I want to say, right? So, Eggman is being voiced by Brian Drummond, right? And I cannot unhear Vegeta. And once, like, you really... I want you guys to just picture right now that Vegeta's on screen, right? And listen to this, right? That is, that is Vegeta. That is just Vegeta saying, crush the, the, the Saiyans, you know, but you see his big chun. So we get our first little action fight scene here. Boom, Sonic blown up. Look at our boy Nux, clean as hell with the big fist cracking. Love to see it, bro. We got our girl Rouge, big chun right here. Amy, fine with her hammer. Love to see it. again. Very smooth, smooth animations. Even Tails, his Tails here, the way they're like swifting in the air. Immaculate Sonic with his spin dash. Very like I just love the aesthetic and look of this show. You know, this like sort of rubbery movement style they got going on with stuff. You like, as you can see, like boom. And of course, one of my favorite things, guys, and I talked about this last night on stream. The smears, bro. Look at the smears. That's <sighs> I love that kind of shit, man. That's the stuff that's going to intrigue a lot of us and, and make a lot of us happy. So here he is about to get this crystal, right? Sonic going into him. Well, well pause, pause. Not into him. Uh, going through shattering it. Now, obviously, you know, probably not supposed to happen. Uh, but it was probably, like, the only way to stop him and stuff like that. So, anyways, gang goes here. And each of them sent to their own different worlds right here. Uh, so... That should be clarified that the team we see with Sonic here is not our cast that that starts with us there. It's that they are in their own different worlds where they're stuck in. Who knows what's going to happen with them? I assume we're going to see more of that, but we can talk about that in a second. So here's Sonic falling down. Uh, important to note, this is not 
the actual continuation of like the last scene where he's being sent here because he already has the gloves and shoes from this world. So they're probably just mixing and matching scenes as companies do sometimes. So here he is. And uh, there we go right away here. Uh, we get a look at this scene. Now, if you guys remember, um, this city was like leaked ages ago with the uh, concept art. Remember, I, I can show this sort of a Sonic Prime concept art. Remember we talked about this ages ago? Yeah, this concept art of this city going on here. So, turns out it was 100%, a million percent real. Yeah, I'll open this right here. Uh, yeah, a million percent real with how this was done where you had, you know, this city uh, and all that stuff going on. Obviously, we're going to go and analyze a little more to see what else is going on here. So, a Netflix series pulling up. We already know here, this is a different version of Green Hill where, you know, I guess Eggman took over and won. Man, it's just, it's still surreal to see. Now, he says it here, you're all new use. First of all, Sonic sounds great. I wrote, I really love, uh, what's his name? Uh, David Mackey or Devin Mackey. Either way, he's doing awesome. Now, let's talk about this really important things here. So, our boy Sonic, first of all, this drip immaculate. I actually remember people were complaining about these shoes that were originally concept art being a little too big. And I feel like they might have taken that, you know, feedback or, you know, seen a like thing to heart and they redesigned them because these look way more slick. They're a little less bulky. They look nice. You have the iconic, you know, white and red going on. Um, and I love that stuff. I would have liked, liked actually if the lights were yellow just to, you know, sort of symbolize the, the buckle. He usually has this, but I don't mind that. Either way, I just like when Sonic gets new gym. Look at military leader Knuckles with like the 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 shredded the shredded that what's called quills going on there. You got Mecha Amy over here. We're gonna get a better look at her very in a second. And then you got Grumpy Tails. Now Grumpy Tails does not like to walk. You know he's out here using his spidey legs. And of course here's Rouge the Bat again. I not I'm not a fan of this costume. It looks really random like I, I like i can't tell it's like she, if she was a military leader or something but it's not too bad you know it's 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 fine we can live with that uh just like we're gonna live with the continuation of this so yeah here's a different look at them again knuckles how do you make knuckles more raw you give him a scar that's it that really is it that's really all you need to do with knuckles you give him a scar and it's perfect again tails looking angry in this world fucking amy dude like amy looks raw i I'm in shock at how cool and raw Amy looks in this. So Sonic says, maybe I could change it all back. And here we actually get our first look at the variations of Eggman over here. You know, you have this more like, what's it called? This sort of the slick up hair. You got this elder one. You got this robot one. Again, also, they were also in the concept art back here. If we look back here, right over here, you know, that he defeats these ones. There's the baby one. There's this one. There's another one over here. So they've got a bunch of these Eggmen. Um, and I wonder if basically they're from all the different universes but they've come to like one universe to sort of you know discuss and plan and they'll go to each world accordingly um so what is he what is he say here hold up hold up hold up i'm trying i'm trying to find out what he says here hold up. what's he say what's he saying bro what's he telling him what's he telling him bro maybe i can change it all okay all right, find the rebels. Cool, Google. Cool, cool. All right, so obviously, you know, these people, rebels here, it seems like this world, whatever they're in, was already war torn because you see in this world, like, again, like, what the fuck happened to this Amy where she's like all tall and mechanic? I, so here's the thing, right? I think Amy looks really raw, but I don't like the long legs. I, like, I feel like this right here could have just been retracted to this, you know? But. I'm sure there's a cool story reason for it. I like how Tails has this little spider thing he's using uh, to walk it again. This Tails is not having it. Whatever Tails is in this universe is not the same Tails uh, that we're used to knowing and loving. Uh, and again, military leader Knuckles looking fire. So they're pulling up here. Big smiles. Again, show looks gorgeous, by the way. Like, can I just say, like, like just animation wise looks beautiful like this could have been a movie like an hour and a half movie or something and i would have been like this is fire so to get all animated series like this immaculate so take your best shot again look at the gang i just look <laughs> bro tails this tails you this universe tails does not like this sonic which is hilarious i like the idea that he's like i don't want to be best friends with you i want you specifically to not talk to me and then you get knuckles here we get a better look at amy with the mechanical hair and you get rouge the bad big chillin you know uh the world he knows 
He said the thing, y'all. It's over, man. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You know, listen, listen. I think we just got to accept that is the catchphrase. You know, I know some people say he doesn't ever really say that much, but come on. that That's the that's the catchphrase. Can we just acknowledge it as a group? That's the catchphrase. It's got to go fast, bro. Look at him, bro. Got to go fast. Love to see it. So he is big dripping over here. Uh, going over here fast. Running through. We get this nice shot over here. The secret, this little battle sequence. We can actually see that... Big the cat is part of the enemy team because he is like standing with them as their laser egg. So I guess maybe he just fucking works for the military in this world. I don't know, but shout out to, to Big the Cat, Big Chill here. But yeah, again, this is really fire over here with those poses. You got these giant robots pulling up here, going for a fight, and then you get a nice clash at the end to pop off the trailer look at look at tales of this mechanical doc Ock parts you got rouge you got knuckles over here. you got the amy the bots over here looks fire man love to see you man love everything about this uh but yeah no i'm i'm really stoked about this man i really uh, like looking at the fact again remember this is a teaser guys like this is a this is still tied as teaser trailer too um and i feel like we got a lot out of this so i think I think next year, you know, once we get an official full look, uh, it's going to be great. But again, like I said, I have questions, right? The biggest one being right here. Again, the whole gang looks like they are all being sent to different universes. They make it a point, you know, to like show each of them in their own different frames. So they're going to each of their different worlds. So my question becomes like, are they, are we going to see like... Is there going to be an episode where we see what what's going on in Tails world? Is there a Sonic in each of those universes too that we're going to see? Like, are, is is the big finale of the show going to be like we see all the Sonics from different universes? Because they haven't shown a single Sonic variant. Even in the world they're in, actually, right there with Sonic, there has to be a Sonic variant in that world presumably right and not only that right what about shadow we saw shadow in teaser trailer one right what happens with him i assume now granted remember episode one is apparently gonna be like 40 minutes so we're gonna get a lot there but like what's gonna happen with shadow i assume he's going to be like stuck in this situation too or he's gonna get them out of it or something i don't know it doesn't seem again he has his own poster so he's clearly part of the show um but they explicitly chose to not show him at all in this teaser i'm guessing maybe because he got a spotlight when they revealed him and then they get a, he got another spotlight when they did teaser trailer one so who really knows i really wonder what's gonna go on with shadow again Clearly, Sonic, you know, knows he fumbled. He was not supposed to break that crystal because uh, we heard early on in the plot that it's a story, you know, about redemption and self-discovery and all this stuff. Um, so I think we're going to get a lot of cool story moments, character interactions. You're still going to get, you know, the fun joy of Sonic. And I just, again, I cannot stress what a blessed timeline we live in where our, our represented Sonics right now for story-wise with movie Sonic and Prime Sonic and Frontier Sonic is... It's chef's kiss. We're, we're going back. And even IDW. Like, we are really back to what really Sonic's character and franchise should be. Which is, you know, you have your comedy and your snark and stuff. But you have heart. You know, you have a story that matters. You have characters involved and stuff. And I just, I love all that stuff. And I'm very happy about it. So, guys, let me know what you thought about the Sonic Prime teaser trailer too. What are you most excited for? Which design do you like so far? Do you think we're going to get all to Universe Sonics? Let me know. I love you. And, of course, I'll see you all next time. Peace.